When you look out at the greatest images of the universe, there are a few sights that light up our memories and fire our imaginations. We can see the planets in our own solar system to incredible detail, galaxies lying millions or even billions of light years away, nebulae when new stars are being birthed, and stellar remnants that give an eerie, fatalistic look into our cosmic past and our own solar system's future. But the most common sight of all the stars, lying everywhere and in any direction we care to look, both in our own Milky Way and beyond. From ground-based telescopes to Hubble, stars almost always come with spikes on them. An image artifact due to how telescopes are constructed. As we prepared for the next generation of telescopes, however, one of them, the 25-meter giant Magellan telescope, stands out. It's the only one that won't have those artificial spikes. Grand Telescopia Canarius, GTC, the largest optical telescope in the world, with a mirror that has a diameter of 10.4 meters, 34.1 feet. It is located at the Rock de los Machacos Observatory on La Palma, 2,326 meters 7,631 feet, in the Canary Islands of Spain. The mirror consists of 36 hexagonal pieces, which can be moved separately from each other, and the shape of each piece can be changed. These two types of movements can compensate for the changes in the observed light that are caused by turbulence in Earth's atmosphere. The telescope is mounted in a system that moves both in altitude and in azimuth, to observe any point in the sky. Construction of the GTC began in 2000. It made its first observation in 2007. The GTC is operated by a consortium of four institutions. The Institute of Astrophysics of the Canary Islands, the National Autonomous University of Mexico, the National Institute of Astrophysics, Optics, and Electronics of Mexico, and the University of Florida. The Grand Telescopia Canarius GTC, is currently the largest and one of the most advanced optical and infrared telescopes in the world. Its primary mirror consists of 36 individual hexagonal segments that together act as a single mirror. The light collecting mirror surface area of GTC is equivalent to that of a telescope with a 10.4 in diameter single monolithic mirror. Thanks to its huge collecting area and advanced engineering the GTC class is amongst the best performing telescopes for astronomical research. The GTC is also a secondary mirror and a tertiary mirror that together with the primary mirror produce the telescope focal plane in the focal station of choice. The scientific instruments that are placed in the focal station then analyze and detect the light and store the final data. The telescope mount, a large mechanical steel structure that holds the mirrors, allows rotational movements of the telescope along a horizontal and vertical axis. This movement has to be extremely precise in order to keep the stars projected stably onto the detector. The telescope is designed so that it is able to observe the optical and infrared light ranges. When details on sizes and measures of something are given it is often difficult to understand the dimensions until we convert measure to the human scale. For instance, a forest as large as 10 football fields a distance so large that it would take us a year in a car to get there. A little insect so small that it could rest on the head of a needle. By comparison we can better appreciate the magnitude of things. This is what we now will try to do for the case of GTC. The main material of the mirror of the telescope is the zero equipment similar to that used for the manufacture of the vitro ceramics. A crucial characteristic of zero is its low coefficient of expansion, which implies that temperature variations in the telescope have no effect on the optics. 
Despite the size and weight of the large segmented mirror, all the components must be at a distance from each other of just 3 mm and kept in place with very high tolerance. This is accomplished through a system of sensors and positioners that continuously keep the mirrors in perfect position. The construction of the GTC has involved numerous pieces and constitutes an important engineering achievement. For instance, the metal structure of the dome has been made of about 59,000 pieces, about 16,000 screws, 4,000 kilograms, some 43,000 nuts, 1,500 kilograms, and about 450 kilograms of washers. As a final detail, it is noted that the more than 400 tons of telescope and instrumentation is supported on only a very thin layer of lubricant. The telescope floats on hydraulic oil, providing a very smooth movement that requires little force. The telescope may be moved by a slight push of the hand. So here is all we have for today's video. See you all in next part of the video. Till then stay tuned to our channel.